Just like UAVs and UGVs come in all different shapes and sizes, so do UUVs, unmanned underwater vehicles. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about this Toloka 1000 behind me uh, with a gentleman from the company. We're not going to show his face for security reasons, uh, but just want to say thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, thank you. It's a great opportunity. Thank you. So the Toloka 1000, it looks like a submarine, uh, basically just one giant unmanned torpedo? Well, it's actually more like a, a sort of unmanned submarine, so there is no crew, but it can do all the stuff that submarine does. It has even diesel engine on it, so it's like old-style diesel electric submarine, but high auto autonomous. It can connect to the internet while it's on the surface and send all the data it has acquired during the mission and can perform long-term missions up to uh, three months or even a half a year, depending on the fuel capacity and uh, the battery capacity. Okay, so it's, that's good uh, clarification there. It's not necessarily a strike vehicle. Uh, it can be a strike vehicle, but it also can be a reconnaissance vehicle. It can perform uh, demining operations, mining operations, service, uh, uh, sleeping mine. You know, when it detects acoustically someone, it can go uh, right to the target. It has optical, thermal, uh, and acoustic targeting systems. We have uh, a sort of Shazam for ships, where we can uh, measure... Uh, by, by analyzing the acoustic signature, define what type of ship it is, and even in some cases define what model of ship it is. Shazam for ships, that's a good term. Uh, that's a good term. Uh, as far as where it's made and stuff, built here in Ukraine? Yeah, it's built in Ukraine, but we use companies from all over the world. Components. You bet. In this show, I mean, obviously we're trying to attract some international uh, investment, maybe some international customers. Have you had any uh, folks from outside of Ukraine stop by and, and kind of question you guys about what you got? Yeah, it's quite uh, prominent here. <laughs> like, everybody sees a big sub and wants to know something about it. And we, we talked to some uh, uh, companies that are also in uh, uh, naval field. We also talked to uh, military officers of European countries or, and also in the US. So uh, there are plenty of interest for low-cost underwater sea factors. And what we do in Ukraine is basically low-cost, low-tech, but uh, highly um, uh, effective. Uh, highly effective uh, and with, uh, so we are good in implementing software, but uh, the hardware is not so sophisticated. Makes sense. It's augmented low tech, <laughs> if you can say so. Now, this is the uh, Toloka 1000. How long is it? Uh, it's uh, exactly to fit in a 20 standard 20 foot container. Okay. And, uh, but do you, you also make different varieties of yeah, unmanned yeah. underwater vehicles. Yeah, yeah. We, we have three, three base model, models. One is something like one and a half to two and a half meters fully electric with a range up to 100 kilometers and the payload up to 15 kilos. Uh, the other one is the middle one with the payload up to 500 kilos and the range up to 1,000, 1,200 kilometers. And uh, this one has a range up to 2,000 kilometers and a payload up to five tons. All right, thank you so much for joining us today. Really appreciate your time. Uh, you're welcome, thank you.